Adrian. And my name is Thomas. And today's video is about Bracky races. Um, Ooh, I, I always liked it when I was about three. Find a way. We can actually go around the house on my little scooter. Yeah, it's trying to find a way of me having fun with Thomas where as a dad uh, that doesn't walk, I can't just pick him up and chase him round and you know throw him over my shoulder. So I've got to find an other ways to be able to get physical activity, to get running around. Um, and when you were really small, we had one of those uh, plastic motorbikes, plastic cars to start with. Do you remember the car we had? Yeah. The red and the yellow. One. And, and, I could, and you used to like hold on to the lead frame. Across, you put your legs up. I could drag you along. Uh, and that was pretty cool because it meant that um, I could be outside with you, the shed down, which messing around, and um, where I can't perhaps do things physically, yeah. I can give you my time and I can have more energy perhaps to put into things, um, but I just can't physically play football or things like that. Well, you can use a broom. Well, that's coming up. But um, So then when you got a little bit older, you got this little plastic motorbike. And it was really and, it, and it, one of the handles snapped. Off. It snapped recently, but you've had but it. But it's still good. You've had it for like five or six years, and um, I think it's because in our house we lived in a small flat when you were first born, and you couldn't really move around. I had to move all your toys just to get down the corridor. So when we moved to a house, we made sure there was a circuit. We designed the house, um, so you can go from the kitchen to the living room, living room to the office. entrance hall, entrance hall into the yeah. office, back to the kitchen. So you can kind of do a circuit of the house and the door's up. You can drive in the chair from the inside step. to the outside. It's, it's a bump, it's a bump, it's not really a step. Um, especially from the living room, you just go straight out. Um, and then I suppose because I'm driving around in the chair, I'm scooting around, and then you've got this little motorbike, you like to scoot around as well. Um, or I've got a scooter. So uh, the older you got, uh, we had to come up with more ways to do it um, because we couldn't just race around the house playing tag. So we started to go onto the decking area and then we sat around thinking, what could we, how can we, we, we make this more fun? So we set up all these little, not really obstacles, but little things to kind like of... Like tables, Yeah, buckets, like zoom in and out of. Tables, and, um, like see what you think. Um, short video uh, of our wacky races. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the middle. <laughs> Been twenty nights and twenty days Lost without a friendly face no reflection from my soul Emptiness is rising tall Calling to my brighter side Wishing for a place to hide A place to leave the dark in me Forever And ever Finally
a part of the race for life Well, that was our wacky races, and uh, certainly have a good time. Um, and uh, it's amazing just how long you can play those games. I mean, sometimes I get dizzy before you for um, going around um, the house. We can sometimes do it for hours. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, I don't really get tired. But if you're going round and round the island consistently, you do get a bit dizzy. And when I do, like, I got like a little, like, mini race track that goes from the island and then I go around the kitchen table and it's like a little circuit. Mm. So in the second half of the video we're talking uh, or showing some clips about other types of sport because you want to be able to play football like your friends or other sports like cricket or things you're learning to do at school that most little boys and girls were able, are able to do in their back garden with their mummies and daddies. And when I was younger I played cricket with my brothers and sisters and my mum and dad very rarely my mum, mostly my dad. Mm. Um, and we used to play cricket and uh, football. I, so, I had cricket. Yeah, so we were trying to think of how could I play football with you. And um, it's quite difficult because I've got to be really, really careful when I'm driving the chair around, especially... You don't smash into the wall. On the grass, or I smash into the wall, or smash into you. I don't want to run over your feet. Um, but I can't obviously kick or anything, and sometimes the football goes under the chair. So we thought, well, it's a bit more about hockey. I've got a stick or a broomstick or grab a hand or something, and I can just nudge the ball along. But really, when I'm playing football with you, it's mostly about making it exciting. So you're playing football, but I can't get too close, but I've got to get close enough, so I might go, Whoa! like I'm rushing up you, behind you. You've got to get... Um, you got to get close enough to hit the ball. Yeah, but not close enough to trip you up or end up with a, an accident. Now, and one thing, an ambulance. One thing that we have noticed, and we noticed this, this summer, was playing football and driving around and then slamming the chair into reverse, and skidding around. It kind of made a bit of a mess of the garden. Do you remember? We had little clumps of um, mud, mud and under the grass. It was three or four different spots. So, and um, skids. Skids, yeah. Yeah, so um, coming up uh, is a little bit about some of the sport because we do play cricket together. That's I can, awesome. I can lean over with a chair with a ball and throw it, but then you have to kind of be, if I'm bowling, you have to be batting and fielding at the same time. So I might use a stick to pick up the ball from the ground, but you might still have to run around fielding as well as, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy um, the second part of the video and we'll uh, see you at the end.
Oh, oh, drop kick. Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah, throw in. So pick, pick it in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it for wacky races, and um, I suppose sport is the, the other uh, title of the, of, the, of the videos. And um, for me, it's about being able to be outside, rush, rushing around with you, without actually being able to run and to pick you up and kind of play. And like play with you. Yeah. And how do you find it? It's done. Do you enjoy doing the wacky races? Uh, it's quite different, isn't it? To uh, yeah. Like, rather than you, like, picking me up and running around the house. Yeah, I mean, it started from a very young age, being able to pull you on that little chair. And I, I remember one time, we were outside, not quite wacky races, but we picked up some brooms. And, oh, yeah, um, we did the pine needles. Yeah, and I was got the broom wrenched under here, I was zooming along. So you can kind of... And I was running with my little broomstick. And you like to see if, uh, if the deck can get slippery, which it does do in the winter. Uh, oh, that, that, that take the chair out there, <laughs> do some moves, slide in left and like right. Dancing. Yeah, well, it, it kind of drifts a little bit. Um, so we do what we can, and I suppose thinking outside the box, trying to come up with new ideas to keep things exciting, so that you don't feel that your, you know, sad. dad can't get involved. Like um, and I can get involved. It just has to be like finding different. Different, exactly. Finding different ways. Yeah, find different ways. So I hope you enjoyed the video, so it gives you some ideas if you're in the same predicament as myself. And uh, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Uh -huh. Ooh, this is my old chair, it goes really, really slowly. No wacky races in this one, that's for sure. Oh, look at that. Just slow down. Don't be good twice. Thanks for watching.